Eu vou falar, eu gostaria de falar em inglês. Recentemente tenho confiança e, además, sou demasiado apaixonada quando falo de Chile e cresce contigo, assim que vamos falar em espanhol. Me hice um pequeno punteo com as perguntas para tentar ordenar-me e. To try to organize my presentation, and I'm very, I feel thrilled when I talk about Chile contigo. I'm going to be very organized. I would like to thank everybody from the forum for this invitation, and I would like to share this information. The two main takeaways and the scaling up challenges of the program. I would like to say that Chile crece contigo is a system, is not a program, and this already generates difficulties for those that work with public policies and those that work with assessment because we're all working, we're thinking about a joint of programs that are geared toward following up the trajectory of development of children. As a matter of fact, this emerges in 2007. We have a little bit less than 10 years, and this comes from the presidency that it has an overreaching view of the children and here the decision was to work with half of the municipalities in Brazil to be of, of, of Chile and we started to intervene here especially in health we looked for the best maternities the best health services in order to start in these municipalities in 2008 we started working with the entire country amongst the main takeaways that you can see in hindsight when we think about scalability one thing would be the importance to highlight that this is an emergence of a transverse transversal agreement in terms of policy in terms of techniques in terms of country regarding what we have to do with a speech about society transformation with a speech that summoned all the players national reach to really change the face of the country this is a speech that said that we can do everything and we can generate better conditions now what is not minor because this means to build a speech that engages not only major thinkers and authorities but also people that that work at the local level. On the other side, we built over the country's experience. We didn't invent the wheel. We we saw what was happening. And what had we done inside the country in terms of health and education? And in addition, we saw the sectorial side, but we also saw the intersectorial side. Chile Solidario, that was the first public policy. And we learned a lot from Bolsa Familia, from Brazil. This was also a first bet, a first experience, and we thought, what should we do in terms of intersectorial policies? And this was the foundation to make decisions in terms of where to place this public policy. We didn't want to create new structures. We didn't want to create a new equipment in the government. Therefore, we asked ourselves, where are the states with kids? And this is in health. So this is why we started, and we started with health, because in Chile, over 80, 90 percent of children between three and four years go to the public health systems. And the main takeaways, we created a constant support line to local governments because, as I will say, subsequently the trajectory, the follow-up of boys and girls is done at the local level. There is no other way. We can outline it at the national level. We can follow up but the regional, but in the local area, in the municipalities, where family is and where they meet our public policies. And on the other side, amongst the main challenges, we have geographic diversity, not so much as Brazil, but we do have, it is a very thin, long, and diverse country. But in from populations from the north and from the south, and this also impacted the ability of resolving the local governments. How could they work? How could we give them support? In the beginning, it was difficult not to have a pure assessment model. We had to create a an experimental assessment model because we didn't think about it from the beginning, which can bring some com 
complications, but we made an effort to overcome this, and there was a challenge regarding quality standards. We have quality standards in some areas, especially in health, but we still have to make progress in education and also in the community networks. Perhaps the question is, what happens when a community network and when a local government does things well? How do we know what the indicators are? You know, it's not only protect social protection, health working, but everything has to work well together. And from the assessment point of view, this is highly complicated because generally we, we assess things separately to assess systemically is something that is highly complex. Now, from the quality point of view, how can we maintain the quality processes and what are the standards that we use? How we monitor Chile Crece Contigo has a program where we have health that has has a protocol that that contributes a lot with our work because it shows us what do they expect from the teams, how do we expect them to do it, who should do it, which indicators are important. And this is put in an IT system. Of course, not everybody does what we expect them to do, but this is good because we can say in which places we have problems, in which places we, can, we have gaps, and how we can follow this. We have a number of indicators that have been established for this program. We have many programs geared toward giving support to the governments. And one, we have an intervention fund for child development that is for funding local governments and that pursues financing, uh, stimulus rooms, also house visits, bibliotheque, uh, libraries that correspond. And here we have professionals that will work with families when boys and girls have some type of biopsychosocial problem and we need techniques that are clear regarding infrastructure and the activities that the professionals have to carry out with the children. And we try to see this and to collect this information in a database. And currently, we're strongly working and we're building indicators on community network performance. As I constantly mention, they must have a working plan. They must have a flow chart of results. They should use the platform of the registration system, they should refer uh, people from to people from health, education, and social protection. And we need indicators to see how our communities are doing this, because some work better with education, some work better with health, and some work better collecting information, but none of them are 100% in all. Therefore, we have to be able to identify where the gaps are. And uh, along these lines regarding the IT systems to monitor and assess, today we have an IT systems to, for monitor and referral. And fundamentally, they want to follow up the boys and girls. We register information of pregnant women and the boys and girls that go to our national public health system. We're talking about risk factors that can affect the development of children, like, for example, teenager pregnancy, depression, uh, lack of family support, violence. In addition, we register education material that we deliver and that the children sometimes, we some changes in their development. And this is scheduled in such a way that when there is a situation, we create alerts of vulnerability and then the child is referred. This system is in line with the civil registration of our country. In Chile, we have one each Chilean has one number so we can follow the trajectory of the development case by case because this is to follow development trajectory. We could, so we know what happens to each one of the people. And we also have a statistic module that allows us to analyze national information. It has good structure, but of course, we always face difficulties. And difficulties are, well, because we are trying to consolidate 
and and we want to use a hundred percent of these community networks sometimes there's not great communication between people and computers sometimes we don't have internet connection or a structure or sometimes people don't understand the value of these tools and daily management so we've made an excellent effort for people to use this because we understand that without information it is impossible to make decisions at the local level regarding follow-up and trajectory of the development of children. We have also made a very good effort in generating an assessment model gearing toward not only impact assessment and mainly the management and implementation matters because we understand that all Everything is based on impl in, implement in deployment human resources. If what we outlined and is properly outlined is done as it should be done, and what deviations do we observe? Therefore, we've made an important effort in this line, and each one of these assessments has allowed us to make decisions in public policies. I would love to extend myself, but I have a lady that is showing me my time out, time out, and I do not want to abuse of my time. Thank you very much.